What's going on guys, Xander P here and welcome to another video. As you may notice, Scavenger Hunt is back with many new improvements. In order to explain our community how the event works and in order to answer some of your questions, I've invited Domos, the community coordinator from Wargaming North America, to a Q&A in order to answer some questions. The following video will be the Q&A I had with Domos, enjoy! So, uh, welcome Domos to the, the community Q&A, uh, how are you doing? Doing good, how are you doing Xander? Doing really fine actually. So, regarding the questions I got for you, what is scavenger hunt and where did the idea came from? So, uh, the scavenger hunt, um, it kind of started as, um, essentially, it started small, we were like, hey, what can we do? to drive traffic to our various social channels. So um, we wanted to get more people to visit our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, Twitter page, um, and the World of Tanks news portal. So at first we basically had four codes and we hid them on, you know, in different areas on, on the news portal, social media, etc. Um, and you know, after after the first month, um, we thought, hey, is there a way for it to get the community contributors involved? Uh, so after we got you know a bunch of feedback from yourself as well uh, and, and Harkonnen about about how um, sort of the, the you guys did a similar event at NAU, and essentially we wanted to make it a cooperative event so community contributors could um, you know sort of help promote other CCs and spread awareness about everybody's channels and then you know basically CCs helping each other grow grow their channels it's a big cooperative effort. All right. So um, many people found the, the scavenger hunt a bit confusing uh, in the beginning. So what's different now? So uh, you know, I wasn't I wasn't lying when I said I was listening to everybody's feedback. We got a ton of feedback about the scavenger hunt. Um, you know, there were there were some technical issues. There were um, some issues with timing. Um, so basically, we, we we focused on three different areas to improve the scavenger hunt this month around. And, and so far, we're getting a lot of really good feedback on it. So the first area would be would be tracking. Um, since players were sort of gathering bonus codes all month, but they didn't really have a way to, to tell how many codes do I have, right? So if, if you missed something or, or maybe, you know, you didn't get credit for one of the codes that you thought you entered, um, you didn't find out about it until the very end of the month, the next month, once the missions kicked in. And obviously at that point, it was too late. Um, so this month, uh, we're, we're, we're basically, we're addressing that by having the missions run concurrently with the code gathering portion. So you have the entire month uh, to do your mission. So if you want to gather, you know, a, a code a day and do a mission a day, you can do that. If you want to say, gather codes all week, and then at the end of the week, knock out your missions and then do that every week, you can do that. You know, really the, the sky is the limit as far as a, 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 the pace at which you want to complete the scavenger hunt. You just got to make sure to grab the, uh, grab the codes every, you know, the, every day to make sure you have get it within that 48 hour window. Um, Sorry, I'm ranting a little bit. The, the second thing would be, would be again, it has to do with the fact that the event is running the whole month this time around. Um, last month, you know, players were gathering codes all month, but they only had one specific weekend to finish all of their missions. So it was, it was kind of an all or nothing scramble during that weekend to get everything done. And then, you know, if you were, you're busy that weekend and you can't play, then you gathered all those codes for nothing. So that's definitely gonna be a lot more comfortable this time around. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, the last improvement would be scheduling. Um, players were pretty confused about, you know, where do I go to find the next code? Uh, we initially wanted it to be to be difficult. You know, you were supposed to be engaged and make sure you go to these channels to get the code. Um, but it ended up just being, you know, people have different lives, different schedules. CCs have different lives and different schedules. And you know, there were there were there were there were some scheduling issues. There was timing issues. People thought the codes were active when they weren't active. So. This time around, we have a schedule that's you know, it's published on my forum post. It's published on the news portal. Um, we're going to be updating that schedule if anything changes. Um, so you know, you can always go back and check the schedule and see exactly where you need to go on whichever specific day to grab that code. All right, awesome. So let's go to the first question. As that's from the community contributors, is there a chance for a content creator that is not a community contributor to participate in the scavenger hunt? Um, theoretically, there might be. Um, it sort of depends. You know, it's it's uh, we're we're kind of in an interesting point now, um, where we have to figure out kind of timing for the scavenger hunt, since it is it is it seems like a pretty popular event. We do want to make it a recurring event every month, and you know, there's only a limited number of days in a month. 
So, um, you know, obviously we want to focus on our CCs first, um, but I am I am open to the possibility of opening it up to, to other content creators who you know, want to be featured as well. Um, but that's just, you know, it's kind of a conversation for the future since we, we need to see exactly how this is you know, going to pan out in the future. All right. So just a question that was not on the schedule. Uh, if they ever like if any content creator wants more support from our gaming and in this matter of, of participating in the scavenger and where's the right place to contact you? Uh, join our World of Tanks NA uh, community Discord. Um, I'll, Xander, I'll get you a link that you can, you can share. Um, On the description of the video, sure thing. Yeah, so then folks can join our Discord. I also, you know, our Discord generally is, is the best place to, to communicate with us and, and, and you'll get the fastest answers there um, since we get notifications about it, that kind of thing. Um, and I have a dedicated channel for the scavenger hunt in, in our community Discord. Um, so they can definitely pop in there, you know, tag me on Discord, feel free to hit me with questions, whatever, I'm happy to talk about it. Do you feel that the scavenger hunt brought the community together and engaged more? Uh, actually, it did. So, um, you know, it's funny because despite all the little bumps on the road, um, I was looking at uh, our data about the scavenger hunt, uh, both on, on sort of the CC side, how CCs, uh, how their channels performed during their, you know, their code drops, and also player behavior during and after the event. Um, and it was actually a really successful event because um, not only did, did CCs um, see spikes in their followers and subscribers kind of coinciding with their um, code drop dates, uh, also players who participate in the scavenger hunt ended up playing uh, more sessions, longer sessions, um, earning and spending more XP, earning and spending more credits. So, so definitely they were, they were more engaged um, and we, we actually had the, you know, we saw it in our data. Do you believe that the scavenger hunt has a future in our community? If so, will this event happen monthly? Uh, yes, we, we hope so. Um, so far, so good. Uh, you know, all uh, our, especially once we saw the, the results from the last scavenger hunt, um, we sort of accomplished everything that we set out to accomplish with the scavenger hunt. And I think with, with this new format, um, with the improvements, players are a lot more excited about it. Um, and I think it's just going to keep growing and growing in popularity. We, we are kind of hoping to make it a recurring event, um, which is kind of actually posing a challenge because uh, one, of, one of the points of feedback that we're getting about this format is that, you know, we, we only have 31 days in a month to run the event. And um, we have to figure out, you know, that the, the final reward with the XP bonus is obviously the best prize. So we want to give players more time to complete it. But on the other hand, we only have a certain amount of days in a month. So uh, if, if, it's, if we give them more days to do it, then we are running into the next month. So we got to find a balance between maybe sort of reducing the number of days that player have, players have to gather codes. Um, but then on the other hand, doing that ultimately, you know, affects the total numbers of boosters that you can get a month, right? So we got to find that perfect balance. Uh, I want to run a survey and kind of see how the community feels about it. But long story short, to answer your question, yes, we definitely want it to be a recurring event. Um, as, as of right now, we are planning to run it next month and sort of run it indefinitely until, you know, if, 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 if the data shows that, um, players aren't really enjoying it anymore or they aren't really engaged with it, then we might kind of reevaluate it and think of different prizes, that kind of thing. But for the time being and for the foreseeable future, yes, you can expect the scavenger hunt to be a recurring monthly act. All right, just a side note on this, uh, I've noticed like, as you know, I'm the owner of the page World of Things Bonus Codes and many people have already realized that the North American has been more engaged and has been creating like more opportunities to get free stuff such as codes and events and so on. So this is just a side note of my on my side, and I believe you guys are doing a really good work on the scavenger hunt. So let's pass on the next question. Well, yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. Well, so kind of to touch on that point, um, you know, I think what what we're kind of trying to do as well is, um, you know, there are parts of the game client that are um, not super friendly to to new players or you know free to play players. Um, so we're trying to kind of basically make uh, more ways for for highly engaged players. If you're if you're really engaged in the community and you interact with the community outside of the game client, there will be ways for you to earn you know rewards and things that will help you progress through the game more quickly. Do you think in the future we could reward the top three hunters with rewards such as series and so on? Um, so sheriff accounts are kind of tricky to be honest, uh, since we do have sort of strict rules for the sheriffs. Um, 
and we have you know designated weekends for sheriffs. It's 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 to be honest, it's too early to say um, because uh, I think participation in the scavenger hunt is going to be growing, um, and I think that the, the amount of sort of top hunters is going to increase as well um, because of the scheduling and everything. Like I think it's going to be more accessible to players, so you're going to see a lot more players completing the entire you know 31 codes and getting that reward. So um, it is a possibility at some point. Um, and we are going to look into, you know, sort of alternative pricing, maybe throw in some custom styles or something cool like that to, to kind of spice things up and, you know, so it doesn't get, get stale. Um, so yes, yeah, sheriffs are, are potentially a possibility, uh, but we have to get a better, under, uh, like a better idea of, of what participation is going to look like before we can start looking into prizes like that. All right. Thank you very much for being here, uh, Domos, and see you on yeah, the no next worries. Q&A. Right on, man. Take care.